Let me get me right. Let me get me right. But yeah, man, just got to the mall. They said my glass is ready, so I'm back. I'm here to pick them up right now. They called me about 30 minutes ago. Um, so I'm about to go pick up these glasses real quick. Let me go to the escalator so I can go upstairs. I'm about to go grab these glasses. And then after I get my glasses, I'm gonna give y'all a couple tips on some businesses you could start with under 5,000. Um, good, good starter businesses, you feel me? Um, a lot of people think you gotta have a lot of money, like 10, 20, 30,000, 40, 50 plus thousand dollars to start a business. You don't need that much. You really don't even need 5,000. You can start businesses with less than 5,000, but I'm gonna get y'all some good businesses that you can start with 5,000 and you're gonna make your money back for sure. So I just got out from getting my glasses. When I was in the uh, lens crafters, I dropped my phone on the floor. When I dropped my phone, the lady who was helping me, she was like, uh oh, don't break that. Uh, you just bought some glasses. I know if you break that, you can't get a new phone. Nigga, what an ass about me. I don't know what she meant by that. Uh, so I didn't really take it personally or nothing. I just told her, I just smiled and I was just like, it's okay. You feel me? If I break a, if I break my phone, I'm gonna get another one. All right. Can't have, can't not have a phone. So, ain't even nothing to trip about. One thing about me, I don't really trip too much on material things. I know that they come and they go. You gonna break stuff. You gonna get new stuff. It, it's just a part of life. It happens, bro. Like material things are meant to be broken. That's how the economy works. So that you can continue buying them. It's really all a part of the business. So things aren't made as strong or as durable as they can be anyway. Because they want you to break it. They want you to get a new one. But obviously it would have been my fault because I dropped it. But well, I, I still don't really know what she meant by you just bought some glasses. So I know you couldn't get a new phone. But anyway, it's all good. It be like that sometimes. It be like that sometimes. Especially when they see a young nigga like me. It's probably because they think I'm young. Like they, they really be thinking I'm like 19, 18, 19 years old. So like. Oh, he just bought these $500 uh, reading glasses. That probably really put a dent in his pocket. No, it didn't. Because if it did, I wouldn't have gotten them. You feel me? <laughs> but yeah, let me go ahead and unbox these glasses for y'all. Yes, sir. You see it? You see it? Versace, Versace, Medusa had on me like I'm Luminati. I, I know that they copy Versace. My neck and my wrist is so sloppy. So... Just to get this little lens crafters a review. I don't know if they all like this, but um, they said that my glasses wasn't going to be ready till the 26th. So they came in a little early. I'm pretty happy about that. I think today is the 24th, maybe the 25th. I'll be losing track of my days sometimes because I really don't look at the calendar like that. I'm not going to lie. I don't know how many of y'all out there is like me who don't look at the calendar, but I really don't look at the calendar unless... I have an appointment coming up or I need to set an appointment or schedule an appointment or I have a deadline or something like that. Other than that, I don't be paying that much attention, especially because I'm up late at night doing most of my work. I'll go from one day into the next day and it'll feel like the same day to me. The real ones know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But yeah. So we got these Versace glasses right here. The reading glasses, the spectacles. I mean, yeah, get that zoom in like that. The spectacles, you feel me? Yeah, the box look high-end as it should. It feels high-end as it should. Let me make sure this ain't got none of my personal information on it before I show what they are. Okay, we good, we good. But this is the model that I got. It's called the VE3320U. That's the model I got right there. A lot of people call them the biggies. That's like the nickname for them, the biggies. So, when you take the top of the box off, you got another box, which is the case, you know, your glasses case. Okay, so I don't know what the fuck these are or why they were in there 
these ain't my lenses. So I really don't know what this is or what this all about. Um, but I, I know, or I believe that when I bought these, they didn't give me the floor model, the display model, because I asked. <laughs> I'm gonna type the ass. Y'all ain't giving me the display model, right? Because if y'all are, I'm gonna be inquiring about some type of discount. Because why is you giving me the floor shit that everybody tried on? But they said, nah, they, uh, it's gonna be a brand new pair. So I don't know what those lenses are for. But these are my actual lenses. These are my reading glasses lenses. And they actually have, um, the anti glare and blue light filter on them. I don't know if that's a scratch or, a Let me see what that is. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it look like you got a little scratch on them or something. But yeah, these what the glasses look like. There you go, right there. Another side. They hard though, I ain't gonna lie, they hard. And when I tried them on in the uh, lens crafters, they were very snug. Like, these look new, I'm not gonna lie, they look new. Yeah, they look new, so. They look clean, they not all scratched up. It's just that little thing on the lens that I'm about to see about right now. So to get further into the unboxing, it comes with a Versace rag, cleaning rag. And then it comes with whatever this card is. I don't, you know, they just, they just be putting stuff in the box sometimes, stuff that they know your ass don't need, some stuff they know your ass ain't gonna use. They just trying to get it to you just to make it seem like you got extra shit. But I got the uh, the little the the care manual is what I'm gonna call it. I don't know what's in here, but I'm I pretty I'm pretty sure it's just how to care for your glasses in different languages. That's usually how these companies do. So basically it's a warranty. It's a Versace warranty in a bunch of different languages though, like I said. Um, let me go ahead and open up this cleaning rag so I can try to clean these holes off because like I said, I don't know what that little scratch was that was on the lens. I don't know if it's a scratch or not, but we about to find out. Oh, nah, we good. It came right off. It came right off. We good. We good, nah. So when it came to my lenses, I got the, I got the best uh, option. I got the highest package for my lenses, which comes with the anti-scratch proof. Uh, but that's that's why I had to check to make sure there weren't no scratches, because I, I, paid, I paid to make sure that my lenses couldn't get no scratches on them. So I got the anti-scratch proof lenses, the uh, anti-glare lenses, and the, the blue light. I don't know what to call it, like a blue light filter or whatever, basically. So if you're sitting and you're looking at the computer all day, it's not gonna be a strain on my eyes because these have blue light protection in them. You can look at these and tell that these are prescription lenses. You can kind of just look at it on the camera and see that these is prescription. You feel me? Let me put them on so I can see what they look like on my face. See my, it lift my dreads up a little bit. I gotta figure out how I wanna finesse that. But these look good on me, man. These look good on me, I ain't gonna lie. I look and I feel very educated. And I'm not gonna lie, I definitely see an improvement in my vision. Like I needed these. Like I ain't gonna lie, I be struggling sometimes. Like I might see people that I know and they might be looking at me crazy, like, damn man, you ain't gonna speak, you ain't gonna say what's up. But I it's like I saw you, but I wasn't sure if that was you, because like it'd be kind of blurry if you were a little ways away, especially at nighttime. But yeah, man, they look kind of hard. Let me flip the hat backwards. You see it? Let me uh, pull these to the back just so you can see how it'll look. If I pull them to the back. You did. Let me put the little ponytail. Hold on. 
cheetah print in my sleeves, but I ain't never been in the jungle. Oh. You dig? Y'all see what's going on. Yeah. Mm. Hey, what what he said? What uh what who Rich Pablo Juan said? I put on my reading glasses with finesse. Yeah. And watch, look, like I said, I got these glasses because I had lost my Armani's. Watch me find them hoes now since I got new glasses. But it's all good. Also, let me show you the inside of the box. Because y'all, people, I know from my other channel, people going to get in the comments about anything. Like, oh, you missed some, But. Mm -mm. Versace. You see, it got the uh, suede inside the box, which should protect your lenses and the frames as well from scratching or smudging. Like I already showed y'all, Versace cloth. I'm about to put the cloth in there. Actually, I'm about to take these out the box because this, if you put your glasses in a box with this, it, it can and will scratch your glasses. So I'm about to put these in the actual box and not the case. I'm going to put them in this box. I still don't know what them other two little lenses was in there for. But I ain't going to trip. I ain't going to say nothing. I ain't going to... Hell. I like these, though. I ain't going to cap. But that was the unboxing video. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Uh, I said I was going to give you all these five tips on businesses that you can start with under $5,000. But as a matter of fact, I'm about to record that video right now. So it's going to be a completely different video. So this is going to be an unboxing video of my Versace glasses. I don't feel like having the hair up right now. I'm going to go home and tighten up too. I got a, my facial hair looking a little rough. So I'm going to go to the crib and tighten that up. Um... But yeah, man, that was my unboxing video. Y'all see it. I appreciate y'all watching the channel. It's more luxury lifestyle all day. Um, make sure y'all like, make sure y'all comment, make sure y'all subscribe for a lot of business talks. Um, starter businesses that you can get involved in. Um, things of that nature. So make sure y'all turn on post notifications as well. I need 13 more subscribers for y'all to get me to 100. Hopefully I can get to 100 subscribers before the end of February. That's my goal. So if y'all can, if you ain't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. I got a lot more luxury content coming for y'all. A lot more business talks, a lot more um, just y'all following my everyday grind and my everyday journey. Like I said, this this channel is about motivating and bringing y'all on my journey so that y'all can get, get inspired and get ideas as well for businesses that you can start and i want y'all to see me go from the bottom to the top so that's why i'm documenting this journey from the beginning i told myself that i was gonna start a couple of businesses this year and i am going to do that so i want to document this journey for y'all as well as for myself so that i can look back on this from uh, years from now and be like damn i really did everything i said i was gonna do you feel me so i appreciate y'all man hit that like button hit that comment uh hit that subscribe button and drop a comment and make sure y'all check out my next video, which is gonna be five businesses you can start with under five thousand dollars. Yeah, give me the loot, follow the suit. Screaming out, gang, 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 rolling with the crew. Give me the juice, pour me a two. I'm with the gang, 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 rolling in the coops. Give me the loot. I'm with the gang, gang.